Okay, so I'm going to go through my favorite episodes of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I'll tell you why I like them so much and how they're so funny. So, first on my list, I don't even have a list, this is just totally off the cuff, like all of my videos, <laughs> um, is Season 8, Episode 7, Charlie Rules the World. It's the episode where um, the gang gets addicted to an online game and Dennis goes in this sensory deprivation chamber and thinks he's God. It's like a big turning point for the series where, uh, what's he called, Dennis is like even more controlling over the gang. And you see that Charlie do really does have potential. Like it's it's shown before this episode obviously, but... You know, you, if you wasn't tied down by the gang, you could really go places. And right after that is The Gang Dines Out, another favourite of mine. Season 8, episode 8. It's just, it's just fucking hilarious. It takes place in one restaurant and the gang all show up in separate groups and try to pay tribute to each other. But they're not trying to interrupt each other's evenings at the same time. It's... It's just very comical. A uh, comedy show does tend to be comical. Um, next is season nine, episode seven. The gang gets quarantined. Uh, I can't really describe why I like this episode so much. Probably because it's relevant, you know, because COVID. Uh, there's two standout moments to me. When Dennis says, sickness be gone. I just find that very funny. And when uh, Frank shaves all of his hair and curves himself in hand sanitizer and says, I just want to be pure and goofy shit that make dying to be or do is just hilarious. Right, the next episode I love, The Gang Misses the Boat, which is season 10, episode 6. Uh, we see what the gang would be like if they actually were separated. Charlie and Dee have a little fling. Dennis has several mental breakdowns. Mac almost discovers himself, but not quite really. And honestly, I can't remember what Frank does. What does Frank do in that episode? I don't know, but it's it's a mostly, I'd say, the original gang focused. I can't even remember what Frank does in that episode. Dennis has many iconic moments. My favourite line being uh, when he's talking to himself after shouting at someone, he's like, <laughs> I'm talking to myself because I have shit to say. <laughs> I fucking love that. Uh, next, you see what I'm doing? I'm literally just scrolling through Netflix, seeing which episodes I love the most, because I know they're in the later seasons. Um, season 11, episode 5, Mark and Dennis move to the suburbs. I mean, come on, it's just a classic episode. It's so well directed it's hilarious every single joke lands it's just it's timeless it's fucking excellent uh if you don't know why it's so good go, go watch it asshole and um, next episode i adore a lot season 12 episode one the gang turns black it's the musical episode i love it so much because well the music is good it's catchy and the gang does learn a lesson about how black people are treated in America, but it's obviously presented uh, in a comical way, so it's fun to consume, unlike real life. Um, another favourite of mine is in season 12. Well, to be honest, season 12 is probably my favourite season. So, you know what? I'm just going to skip season 12, because I love every single episode in season 12, so I'll probably just be repeating myself. Uh, next is season 13, episode 4. Time's up for the gang. It's the episode where Dennis sets up an entire sexual harassment seminar just to prove that he's not a sexual harasser. Even though he clearly is. He instead outs the rest of the gang to cover his own tracks. And it's just fucking hilarious. It's dark. It's very manipulative. But that's just peak Dennis to me. And another favourite, which is in the season, is The Gang Solves the Bathroom Problem. Season 13, episode 6. Uh, I find it funny how they handle gender politics in this episode. 
because I'm very much of the opinion that you can be whatever you want as long as no one's getting hurt. Male, female, non-binary. And I don't give a shit. If you're not hurting anyone, I don't care. Anyway. So, I find it funny how to handle this episode, uh, this theme. You know, Frank not really getting it and being upset that he has to learn new words. Moving on. Season 13, episode 10. Mac finds his pride. It's just uh, really... It, really great episode it's the only serious episode in Sunny really Mac you know actually finding his gay pride it's a relevant episode right now since it's pride month and I have many gay friends and you know I'm I'm happy for them and I hope they can express themselves in the same way um, I don't know what I mean by that I just, I just wish well for all gay people um, and in terms of favourites I think that's it Season 14 is great as well, and all the earlier seasons are great as well, but I think the show really picks up around season 8. That's when it becomes, like, beyond 10 out of 10 quality. Anyway, yeah, uh, if you made it to the end of this, um, why? Why would you fucking listen to me for six and a half minutes? Um, why, why? Why would you?